Welcome to Bismo. This is a quick start guide to get you up and running in minutes. For optimal viewing, check your player settings and choose the highest resolution. First, create an account on the Bismo Accounting Cloud. Enter your name and email address, and then press Accept. You'll receive an email with a temporary password to sign in with. If you're the first user in the company, press plus to create the business entity. Fill in the legal company name and a short name. Then select the industry and currency that are applicable to your business. Press accept to create this entity on the Bismo Accounting Cloud. Now touch the name of the business to open it. The first essential step is to create a bank account. Enter the name of the account and the account balance as of the date you will enter all transactions into Bismo. It's important for this opening balance to be accurate since you can only change the bank account balance in the future by entering banking transactions into Bismo. If your company collects sales tax or value-added tax, there are three quick steps to enable that. First, create a vendor for each tax authority. Select the appropriate options under tax authorities, including remit frequency, delay days, in this case 15 days after end of month, and remit policy. You can remit taxes in the period you create an invoice or in the period that you receive payment from the customer. Second, check the item tax classes to make sure they'll meet your needs. You'll need an item tax class for any type of sale that you need to collect tax on. For example, if you sell boats and collect a specific tax on them, create a new item tax class called Boat. Third, create a tax locale for each geographic area you administer taxes in. Then add one or more taxes to collect, selecting the Remit To vendor and defining the tax as a percentage or as a fixed dollar amount. Use the effective dates to signify when the tax is applicable. Then add the item tax classes this tax applies to. That's all there is to setting up taxes. Now let's set up the item catalog. Create an entry for each product, service, and rental that your company invoices to customers. Each item should have an item number, description, unit of measure, and selling price. It's important to select the appropriate income type, which determines where an item will show under My Work. Use product sales for material slips, rental income for rental slips, and services for time slips. It's also important to select an item tax class if you collect taxes from customers for this item. If you buy this product for resale or subcontract services, Enter a buying item number to be used on vendor purchase orders and bills. And pick an expense type so Bismo can do the behind the scenes accounting. To track product inventory, press yes and enter the quantity on hand and average cost per unit as of your conversion to Bismo. Now that we've got items and taxes set up, let's move on to customers and billing. When creating a customer, important fields are name, notify email for estimates, and notify email for invoicing. You can also select an approver for estimates and invoices. If you select an approver, the estimate or invoice won't get emailed to the customer until it's been approved. 
If you collect taxes, select the appropriate tax locale for this customer. There are three ways to create invoices for customers. The first method is a one-time invoice. Select the customer, then add items and quantities. The second method is a recurring invoice. Just pick the next invoice date, customer, and frequency. To generate a limited number of invoices, enter the number remaining. Then add items and quantities. The third method of invoicing is to use a project, record activity in my work, and have Bismo automatically generate the invoices. When creating a project, give it a useful name. Select a project manager. And if you'd like to limit the team, enter team members below. Otherwise, press no to let all users access this project. Now select a customer and determine whether services, materials, rentals, and or expenses are billable for this project. Last, select the project billing frequency and delay days. Now we can make entries under My Work. Add a time slip and enter one or more time entries. Select the project and enter the total hours worked. Add work tasks that represent the time that should be invoiced to the customer. For example, if you don't charge for travel time. To restrict access for other users, create a new access level. Access for my work is either none or manage. Access for other items may be none, view, or manage. In this case, I'm going to allow individual contributors to create their own time slips and expense reports and view only on projects. To add users, create them as employees or contractors. Enter their name, email address, and select an access level. You can optionally select an approver for specific transaction types. Press Accept, and this user will be emailed an invitation along with a temporary password. Speaking of which, to change your password, use Settings. Enter your temporary password, and then enter your new password twice. And press Save. These are the essentials to get you started. To learn more about other Bismo features in detail, check out bismo.com/products.